blocking everything you're touching. Just, just FYI. Continue. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, um, the the uh, intestinal wall, actually the wall of the entire gastrointestinal tract is relatively similar um, in basic structure. Uh, we'll go through that in lecture. But essentially, uh, most significant down here we see uh, the... Sorry. Out of my face, man. Sorry. Sorry. You gotta take it out of my face. <laughs> oh, it still is? Okay, it's out. <laughs> We have two layers of muscle here. One is called the circular muscles and the longitudinal muscles. And they are responsible for uh, mixing and moving stuff throughout the tube here. The stomach has a third layer called the oblique layer, which helps it churn. Um, so this is responsible for, protect, for peristalsis and some kind of mixing movements we call segmentations. Uh, the other mixing movements we see again in the stomach of the third layer. Um, we're going to be talking about um, uh, a part of the nervous system you probably didn't talk about last semester called the enteric nervous system. You should, you should be really should be doing the somatic, the autonomic, and the enteric. A lot of my colleagues include the enteric under the autonomic, although the autonomic does not control the enteric nervous system. It's got a mind of its own, so to speak. The enteric nervous system uh, has two components. It has a myenteric plexus, which controls the motor activity and it has something called the submucosal plexus, which controls secretions in the system. These little finger-like projections are called villi. Here's a lacteal that we talked about of the lymphatic system. This is, um, this is one of uh, Payer's patches. I told you there, lymphoid tissue that's found in the, uh, in the uh, small intestine, the ileum, particularly. And over on the side here, I think he's got a plaster. We see one of the intestinal glands over here. So here's an intestinal gland. This is a payer's patch, a villi, or villus. Villi is plural, a lacteal of the lymphatic system. This yellow stuff here actually represents the nervous tissue of the enteric nervous system. And if I said what part of the enteric nervous system is over here, you just say the myenteric plexus. And over here, of course, would be the submucosal plexus. All right, well, that'll keep you busy for a couple minutes. Which was the enteric plexus? I'm sorry. There's no, I never said it was an enteric plexus. Mes mesenteric. You said something. Mesenteric. No. Oh. No, sorry, not mesenteric. Um, All right. Mesenteric. mesenteric. No. My enteric. My enteric, sorry. My enteric. I know it was my, some my M. My enteric versus the muscle. I know it was some M. <laughs> there you go. And then the other one would be the submucosal plexus. The okay. Submucosal okay. plexus would be in the submucosa. We'll go through this again. Okay. Um, and it controls secretions. The myenteric controls motor activity. That's movement, churning, mixing. Okay. okay. okay.